Hey, what's up Trekkies, Dan Gunther here, back home after an amazing weekend at the Shore Leave Convention in Maryland, but I'm really happy to be home and ready to bring you another weekend trek. First off, the international distribution for the new Star Trek series coming next year has finally been announced. Those of you in the US, you know this, it's old news. Uh, the new Star Trek series will be coming to you on CBS All Access, their streaming Netflix-like service. However, the rest of the world uh, has all been waiting with bated breath to find out how we will be able to see the new Star Trek series. CBS has signed a deal with Netflix and Netflix will be carrying the series worldwide with the exception of the United States because as we know it will be on CBS All Access there and Canada in which uh, Bell Media has acquired the rights to show the new Star Trek series. Now in Canada the series will first be premiering on CTV the the um, pilot episode the same night as the pilot airs on CBS in the States after that, the remaining episodes will be available on the Space Channel, which has kind of been a long uh, home of science fiction on television in Canada. So uh, a lot of people are really excited by this news. Canadians will be getting the new Star Trek series on broadcast television on the Space Channel. And it will also later be carried by Crave TV, which is Bell Media's um, streaming service like CBS All Access or Netflix. Uh, so really big news there. It's it's finally great to know how the rest of the world will be able to see the new Star Trek series. Another big piece of news on the Star Trek front this week. Last week uh, we had J.J. Abrams say that they were thinking about Star Trek 4. They were starting to talk about it um, and it sounded promising. However, this week now we get official word. Uh, the fourth Star Trek movie in this current series of movies is happening. Also, really interesting news about this. Uh, it looks like the new film will be starring Chris Hemsworth, supposedly reprising his role as um, George Kirk, uh, James T. Kirk's father. So uh, interesting to see how that's going to be done. Uh, it looks like from the press release, uh, they are intending to bring Chris Pine and Chris Hemsworth together. Uh, so I don't know if there's going to be some kind of time travel involved uh is it just going to be flashbacks we're not sure yet um but some really interesting developments on that front uh i know we're just now getting star trek beyond so uh we'll bring you more news on the fourth star trek film uh as it becomes known but before we get to the next star trek movie we still have the current one uh, this week, of course, is the official opening week in North America for Star Trek Beyond. Uh, huge world premiere of the IMAX version uh, at San Diego Comic-Con. So that's awesome. Uh, kind of really wish I could be there, even though I've just now got home. Uh, man, I would give anything to be at San Diego to see that with that crowd. However, locally, it will be opening tonight in my hometown. So... Uh, looking forward to seeing that with a bunch of friends tonight. I'll be sure to get some video of uh, our reactions to the film, our thoughts. Look for that in the next couple days here. And uh, yeah, really, really excited. Have you seen Star Trek Beyond yet? Uh, let us know in the comments. What are your thoughts? You know, we want to hear from you. We want to kind of build a community with this channel and uh, share our love of Star Trek together. So let us know in the comments. What did you think of Star Trek Beyond? Uh, what are some things that could have done better? What are some things you really liked? Let us know. Oh, by the way, thank you for this. I know of your fondness for antiques. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Message, Spock? None that I'm conscious of. Except, of course, happy birthday. Surely the best of times. So as I mentioned earlier, I was at the Shore Leave Convention in Maryland this past weekend. Uh, one thing the convention is really known for is a large group of the Star Trek writers uh, go there every year. So uh, I learned some really interesting things from them about what's coming up in Star Trek books. So first of all, the Strange New Worlds contest, which was uh, just revived for the 50th anniversary. Uh, the ebook for that series, it will be released as an ebook first. It will be coming out this fall. 
They're not quite sure about the exact release date yet, but uh, we'll bring you that as soon as we learn. Uh, there will be 10 stories in the book. Um, and if this sells well, there might be a printed uh, paper copy put out after that, but we're not certain about that yet. And we're also not sure if there will be another Strange New Worlds writing contest after this one. Uh, fingers crossed that this sells really well and uh, proves to be a profitable thing. Other big announcements, uh, there's another Next Generation novel coming from Dayton Ward uh, called Hearts and Minds. Uh, this one will be released sometime in 2017. Uh, however, what's really interesting about this one is it picks up a lot of the story threads from uh, from History's Shadow and the sequel Elusive Salvation. So you can kind of think of this one as From History's Shadow 3, which uh, I'm really excited about because I really enjoyed those first two novels. So uh, excited to see that story continued, but with the TNG crew this time around. So really curious to see what that story looks like. Uh, also coming from Dayton Ward, uh, which is really exciting, this past week, his uh, Vulcan travel guide from the uh, Hidden Universes line of books was just released. Just revealed by Dayton Ward at the Shoreleaf Convention, uh, he's doing another one of these travel guides. This one, though, is the travel guide to Kronos and the Klingon Empire. So uh, that's really, really exciting. Um, I've just started reading the Vulcan travel guide. It's really excellent. If you get a chance, you should pick it up. Uh, I'll put links in the description to uh, order it from Amazon. Um, yeah, it's it's excellent. I The artwork is gorgeous and the writing is uh, really funny and a lot of fun to read. So you should definitely pick that up. And uh, the Klingon Empire one coming, that's really exciting. So it looks like, uh, looks like we're gonna get more of these. And according to uh, Dayton Ward, uh, this will be coming next year, kind of spring or summertime, not totally sure exactly on the timing of that yet, so stay tuned for that. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, I'm off to go see Star Trek Beyond tonight. Uh, again, let us know in the comments what you thought of the film, uh, if you've seen it yet. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, maybe stay clear of the comments, there might be spoilers. Um, but yeah, very exciting times to be a Star Trek fan. Keep watching this channel for more Star Trek news. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions and on Twitter at Kurtratz is our handle there. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you up to date on all the Star Trek news week to week. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you again next week.